Wow. I'm so boring. Maybe I'll get into Roblox. Join Roblox. Oh, my best friend on Tower of God. I joined her. Haha, <laughs> you so funny. Hi, Blair. Who are these? They're my new friend and they brought me some Robux. So I do not need you anymore. What are you serious? Haha, <laughs> I'm serious by poor girl. Wow, I can't believe she did this to me. In the meantime with Blair. Cameron, John, now I'll change the skin. Okay Blair, come back when you're done. Oh. Okay Blair, bye. Blair changes. Back guys. How's my new skin? Perfect. Thanks guys. Back to Giselle. Okay. I have a plan. But first of all, I need friends to play with. ABC for a friend group. ABC. Ugh. But why with bacon? Maybe she's out. Oh. Then I'll get her some Robux. Wait. Really? Thank you so much. You are welcome here you have 10k Robux. Thank you so much. You do not understand how happy I'm okay, I'm going to change. Okay, bye. I'll be right back. Oh. What wrong with her? I don't know, but I don't care. Back guys. Well, perfect. Think I think, I like him. Think I think, I like her. Oh, and where is she? We don't know. Oh, okay. Back. Thank God. Now what name reveal age reveal face reveal? No, um I mean yes. 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 Oh, okay. Well, I'll go first. My name is Giselle, and I'm 16 years old, and this is me. Hot, um, I means be beauty. Beautiful. Ugly. Um. Okay. My name is Crosby, and I'm 14 years old, and this is me. Hot um. Cool bro. Nice. My turn. My name is Kayle and I'm 17 years old and this is me. Hot, I mean beautiful. Beautiful. Nice bro. Okay. I guess I am now. Wait, my mother calls me. Looking for hot girls. Seuss. I agree. Okay. My name is Serena and I'm I mean, 16 years old. And this is me. She's lying. Proof. Here. What? I can expla. Save it. Show us what you really look like. No. Unicorn Serena Kit. Well, she be so rude. Yes. What did Serena do that? She went for a moment when Giselle got Robux. Wow. I hate her so much. Well, I have a plan on how to take her Robux. Looking for Poppy. Ugh, where is she? Oh, here she is finally. Serena go for her. Hey Poppy. You can help me? Four. Can you log into someone's user and get me her Robux? What did I get out of it? I'll give you some Robux. Okay. Okay. So what her? But not now at the moment. It is not appropriate when I have to do it. Okay, bye. For now. Bye. We will return to me after she was taken out. I hate them. And I was still in love with Crosby. Well, I have to get revenge. Thinking for a long time. What am I stupid? I'll go to Poppy to get her the Robux. Go for Poppy. Hey Poppy. I need you to log into her user. Okay, what her username? Her username is... Okay. Already back. Trying to get her into the user. Okay. I succeeded. Okay. Now give me all the Robux. Okay gives her here thank you bye 
Wait. We agreed that you would bring me some too. Bahahaha, did you really think I would give it to you? I worked on you now. Bye bye. And I finished recording. Okay. Now I will look for this girl and give her the Robux. Back and ask her a little of Robux. In the meantime, with Giselle. What? Where's all my Robux? It's gone. What? How? Strange, how really? Poppy finds Giselle. Poppy? What are you doing here? Your Robux is gone? Right? Yes. How do you know? Shows her the video of what Serena did shows her the video of what Serena did. Wow. I just do not believe what she did. I hate her so much. And I'm so sorry. But don't worry. I'll take her into account and give you everything back. Thanks, Poppy. Oh, and take some from Robex. Really? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. I managed to get in and I brought you. Oh, here are the Robex. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, and Poppy wanted to join our group. Of course. Oh. And Kayla can talk with you alone? Okay. So what did you want to talk about? I like you. Wait, really? Because I like you too. Oh my god. So wanna be my boyfriend? Of course. Let's back to them. So you came back. What were you talking about? We, we are, are dating. dating. Wow, I'm happy for you too. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Guys. I need to tell you something. What is it? So my expressed friend left me because she met new friends and they brought her Robex. So I'll train you for revenge. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. So wanted to help me? Yes. What the plan? She explains. Wow, interesting. I agree. Okay, Crosby, go first. Okay, good luck. Hi, can I please do this with the black? Think damn he's hot. Yes. So what did you want a hot boy? Um, okay. So what do you think of your friends? They are ugly and I take advantage of them. Why? Because I thought about it and wanted you to break up with them and you be mine. Of course I wanted my baby boo-boo. Okay. Can you stay here for a while? And I'll be back. Obviously everything is for you. Where is she? I need to show you something explain everything else, but look. Show them his conversation with her. I don't believe in her. Wow, she's a bitch. Hey. Come on. He tell you what you said about us. What? I don't believe you. Giselle Poppy come. Well, 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 here you are. Do you think you will not get revenge after what you did? Giselle that's you. Yes, why? I'm so sorry, please forgive them. Ugh, you just take lots of my Robex now, right? Um. So it's true? Girl I just can believe I was your friend. How about a friend? Can you be? Um. I'm sorry. Save it, bye. I hate her. She ruins everything of me. In the meantime with everyone. I can believe this happened. It sucks that I could not attend either. Yes. But I did not understand what the plan was. The plan was for Crosby to start with her so she could trust him and say what she thought of you. And then he had to bring her in. And then what happened happened. Wow, this smart. Okay. We go now. Wait, wanna join us? I don't have problem. Um, yes. Everyone tells about themselves. Until one day. I can't accept this. Giselle will pay for what she did to me. Hey girl. Huh? Do I know you? 
No, but we have the same enemy. Who's she? Did you forget? Of course it's Giselle. Yeah, that brat. She took all my friends of me. Before that, Giselle was just a poor bacon. I thought you guys used to be best friends. No, I just want to use her. But Giselle has nothing. So I left her. Okay, I have a new plan. Tell me please. Tell the plan. Oh, it sounds great. Serena and Blair find the moderator of Roblox. What's up, girl? Listen to her. Um, I have a friend, and her name is Giselle. She took my Robux. Do you have proof? Show video Poppy talking her Robux and giving it back to Giselle. This is really bad, I will investigate and deal with it. But it will take a long time. Don't worry, I have a present for you. Gives him 100,000's Robux. Oh my god thank you. I will do with my best. Alright. Right. It will work good, right? I think so. Just wait and see. Yeah, this makes me feel so excited. Ha 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 ha. Oh I got a notification from the admin. OMG me too. What is it talking about? I'm curious too. Huh? I was reminded about hacking someone else's Robex. No, me too and... Final punishment? I will get everything back and back to the original. Me too. Time countdown. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh my god, I don't understand what's going on. This punishment is too heavy and unreasonable. Yeah. I agree. I think we need to find the cause. This is unacceptable. Although my Robex number is given, but... I understand your feeling. We will help you get back your lost Robux and items. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Crosby and Kelly open an investigation to get justice for Giselle and Poppy. What should we do now? I don't know, I feel so bored. Ha ha ha, look at them. Brats, you guys deserve this. What? Blair and Serena? I knew right away, you guys were behind all this. So what? What can you do to me? Ha ha ha, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. How do you do that? Well, I just need to spend some Robux to bribe the moderator. What? So that is. Come with me, Giselle. Okay. You won't do anything, loser. Just wait and see. Giselle and Poppy go to meet the moderator of Roblox. You're the one who turned us into bacon, right? Yes I am. Please make us come back. Sorry, I can't. But Serena and Blair are the bad guys, they misrepresented the truth. Do you have proof? Show proof. Oh my god, didn't expect me to make such a big mistake. I will restore everything for you. Return mode. Good. Amazing. They will be punished for lying to me. Yeah, that's what I want to hear the most right now. Blair and Serena were later stripped of their Robux and items. They become pitiful bacon. Giselle and Poppy are back to normal and everyone is happy about it. The end. Story 2 Andrea, can you message me back, we need to talk. Hey babe. Is everything okay? Uh. Not really. I know this is sudden, but I think we should like. Break up. Ha <laughs> what? What did you actually want to talk to me about? I'm serious, I'm just not happy, sorry. Alex what's going on? You were fine yesterday what happened? Did I say something or what? No, it's not you, I just think this right for both of us, goodbye Andrea. If you're joking this isn't funny. I'm not, we're done, I'm leaving now. What just happened? This can't be real, we were literally fine yesterday why does he suddenly want to break up? Hey Andrea, 
Uh, Alex just told me you guys broke up. Um. Hey, Marcus. He told you that quick. Uh, yeah, we did, but why are you messaging me instead of him? Isn't he your best friend? I barely even know you. I know I just wanted to see if you were okay. Well, thanks. It just feels a little random, we've only spoke like twice and I'm sure Alex wouldn't want you talking to his ex. Hey babe. Oh and Marcus? I didn't know you guys talked LMAO. What? Alex are you kidding? So it was a joke. Don't babe me. Mind wait I thought I blocked her on his account. What are you talking about Andrea? Did I do something? Yeah me did. You really made me worry, I thought you actually broke up with me for no reason. I'm confused, what are you talking about? Stop carrying it on Alex it wasn't even funny when you first did it. Babe honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about, please. I don't even know what to say right now, I'm just gonna go offline. Talk to me when you decide to stop acting stupid. What? Do you know what all that was about Marcus? Um. Nope. I joined her like two seconds before you and she seemed fine. She said something about me breaking up with me? What is she talking about? Uh, oh, she might be hinting that she wants to break up. You should end things with her before she does it first so it'll be less awkward for you. No, I'm not gonna do that I love her, I'm sure she's just having a bad day, we can talk about it later when she's ready. Um, also you didn't go into my account earlier did you? What no? Why would you think that? Well calm down. I was just worried because I got an email saying someone logged into my account, but maybe it's just a glitch or something ick. Yeah probably. Just ignore it I'm sure everything's fine. Uh yeah. Well I'm just gonna check all my games and messages and everything to make sure I wasn't hacked. Why do you need to check your messages? It's pointless so just check your games and that's it. What is your problem? You're acting really weird. I'm checking them now, because I feel like you're hiding something from me. Wait Alex just stop. Alex reads all his messages. What is this? I never said that to her. Did Marcus go into my account and break up with Andrea as me? Why would he do that? Does he like her or something? I don't even care, I just have to tell Andrea what actually happened. Hey Andrea can we talk? I know what's going on now. Are you finally going to act mature and stop joking about this? I wasn't joking, I... You're still continuing this? You're just being annoying now. Just let me talk. Fine. Sorry. I'm pretty sure Marcus went into my account and tried to break up with you pretending to be me for whatever reason. What? I know it sounds like a lie, but I promise you Andrea. No I believe you, when I last spoke to Marcus he kept telling me my personality reminded him of his ex GF and he kept comparing me to her, do you remember that? Oh yeah. I just remembered that, maybe he likes her because he still likes his ex. But what was he actually thinking with this plan? He didn't even block you on my account or anything, did he seriously think we wouldn't find out? Well what are you gonna do about it? I know he's your best friend so. Are you kidding? I don't care what he is to me, I can't forgive him for this, and now I know he's done all this I'm not sure what else he'll do to separate us. Okay. I just don't want to be the GF who made you leave your friends. Don't worry Andrea, he did this, not you. Can I add him so we can talk? Of course. Oh, few you guys didn't block me. Here, I know what you think I did, but trust me I didn't do it. You were hacked Alex. Marcus just stop, it's not working. You already know we aren't staying friends, so lying is getting you nowhere, you might as well just admit it. Um, okay. Fine. But I only did it because I like you Amelia. You should just be with instead, please just give me a chance. Did you just say, Amelia? Oh um, did I? Sorry I meant Andrea, autocorrect ha. Huh? Amelia is your ex's name, isn't it? No of course not. 
Yeah, it is Marcus. I can't believe you're actually expecting her to just be with you. She doesn't like you and she's with me. Take a hint. I can't believe that just happened. I'm so sorry, Andrea. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, babe. This is probably like the weirdest day of my life. The end. Story 3 Playing alone is so boring. I have to find some more friends. ABC to join the group. ABC ABC Hello guys. I'm so glad when you guys are here with me. Yahoo, bro. Hello. Hi hotties. Anyways, what's y'all names? My name is Thomas. I'm Amelia. And I am Aurea. Finally, I am Daniel or you can call me Dan in short. I can call you Dan Boo Boo Bear. Ha ha ha. Sorry, guys. I have to go for a few minutes. I will be right back. Okay, Aria. Hayes, finally, she's gone. Amelia, why do you sigh? You don't like her. Yep, I wonder why this noob is here. Be nice to her, Amelia. She just wants to be our friends. But she has no money, and she looks so ugly dirty. It's not even her fault. Agree. And I will give her some my Robux. But. Guys, I am back. Sorry for letting you guys wait me. No problem. What are you talking about? Um, nothing. Arya, do you want some Robux? I will give you some. Really? Yeah. Ugh. Of course. Please, please. Then check you Robux. Oh my god. I have Robux now. Yeah, you yay. Thank you so much, Thomas. You're welcome. Now you can do whatever you want with your Robux. I will go change my avatar right now. What do you think about my new outfit? Wow, you're so stunning with it. Gorgeous. Ugh, ugly as always. Thank you guys, except of Amelia. Who cares? Let's do something interesting. Ha. Huh. Do a face reveal. Sure. I will go first. This is my handsome face. Hot. My turn. This is me. Woohoo. Handsome. You look like my idol. Thanks. Amelia. Your turn. Ugh, no. I am not confident, so I will go last. Okay, then here is me. Guys, are you there? Whoa, it's so speechless. Because I'm too ugly? No, because you're too pretty, like a superstar. Ha ha ha. Yep. Beautiful. Mumbles, why? She's fucking pretty. Huh? Amelia, what did you say? You wanna hear? I said you were so ugly. You're the ugliest girl I've met and I am more pretty than you for sure. So show us your face. Wait me for a sec. I have to go pee first. Okay. We will wait here. My god. Help me. I can't believe that this brat can be more beautiful than me. So I have to search a hot girl on the internet. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. It's perfect. Let's go back to the group chat. In the group chat. Okay, guys. I am back. Show us your real face. Ugh, it's not your business. This is me anyways. What the? Guys. So we're talking with a famous star. Oh my god. Stupid, dude. Ha. Huh. This is fake. Yeah. You lied to us. Show us your real face. Don't worry. We won't judge you. I am sorry, guys. Just because I'm afraid that I am not as pretty as Arya. Come on, bestie. Each person owns their own beauty. Okay. 
Then this is me. Whoa, whoa. Amelia, you know what? You look so gorgeous. Really? Yep. You're so pretty, so don't be insecure anymore. Agree. Oh my god. Thank you guys so much. By the way, Arya. I have to say sorry to you. I am so sorry for being mean to you. It's fine, bestie. Bestie? Yep. Ha. Ah, I am so happy to see you guys close together. And can I add my friend to our group? Okay. Sure. Hi guys. Hi Daniel. Hello Hazel. Hi. Shut up your mouth. Who say hello to you? Uh. And Daniel, what are these people names? He's Thomas and here is Amelia and Aria. Nice to meet you, Thomas. Nick. Okay, do you guys want to play ragdoll? Sir. Thomas and Daniel. Whisper, what the hell is going on, bestie? Whisper, I don't know, but she always interrupt me and you. I. Shut up. I am asking Thomas and Daniel, not you brat. Ugh, sorry but I will play with Amelia and Aria. Whatever. But you can chat me while playing. Nope. I still chat in this group chat. Ugh, playing game is boring, wanna meet up you guys. Great idea, I guess. Yep. What the fuck? It's not for you too. I am asking my boo-boo bear Daniel and Thomas. Sorry, but I just meet up when the girls go with us. Whatever you want. Where do you live, guys? Sydney, Australia. Same. I'm Melbourne. And I don't think I can come. How about you, bestie? I am Sydney too. So let's meet up at Luna Park. Sound interesting. I hope you guys will have a nice day together. I will feel bad if you can't come, Amelia. I am so happy if you and you ugly bestie do not come. So I can stay with Thomas and Daniel Boo Boo Bears. Sorry for letting you depressed cause I am still coming. Brah. So annoying, brat. You too. I gotta go now. See you guys tomorrow. Who cares? The next day. Hello Thomas. You're Arya. You're so pretty in the real life. Thank you, and you're so handsome. How about Amelia? She said to me that she booked a flight ticket to Sydney yesterday. Oh that's great. Hello guys. You're Arya. Hi dude. It's me. Nice to meet you. Ah. Oh. What's wrong with you? Who allows you to hug my boo-boo bear? Stay away from him. No. How you dare? Come on, girls. Stop it. Ouch. She pulled the end of my ponytail it's so hurt. Stay away from my boo-boo bear. Bruh. Ho ho ho. I want to go to the restroom, Thomas and Daniel. You mean that you wanted me and him go with you? E.W. Why do not you ask Arya? My answer is no for sure. Ho ho ho. We will go with you. In mind, i uh, so annoying. After a while. I am okay now. Okay, then get back to the aerial. Yeah, go. Wait, guys. Um, can I ask you guys something? Go ahead. Do you guys really want to go back to Aria's place? What do you mean? I mean that I hate her and I want us to leave her alone. Then let's come to my house instead. No. Amelia is coming here. What? But. She booked a flight ticket and she's coming. Whoa. Fine. Guys. Let's go back, bro. Yep. Meanwhile with Amelia and Arya. Hey bestie. 
Oh my god. Thank god, you are here. What happened? I have to say that Hazelbrat is so annoying. I wanna kill her. You know. Ha ha ha. Your angry face is funny. But where are Thomas and Daniel? Yep. They have to go with that brat to the toilet. What the fuck? How ridiculous. Hi Amelia. Oh, hi guys. Hi rat. Don't be rude to her. Wanna fight again? Wait a sec. It's, it's you. you. Hazel. Amelia. Huh? You two know each other? She used to my best friend. I can't believe that we could meet again. So why are not you guys friends now? She's so boring and she's not cool like me. You guys know what I mean. Then you bullied me. What? You bullied her. Guys. She lied to you guys. Don't trust her. Enough. I believe my bestie more than you, brat. And leave us. You're so toxic. Thomas and Daniel. They bullied me now. Get out of here. I can't stand for you anymore. Agree. You guys are too bad. I hate you guys. Finally, she's gone. Yeah. And Amelia. I am so happy because you're here now. Me too. Guys, this is the first time I've come here, so let's play all games here. Great. They play all games at Luna Park and have much fun together. A few days later. Guys, it was really memorable meeting. Yeah. And I am sorry guys for what Hazel did to you guys. Oh my, it's not your fault, Daniel. I got it. Um, uh. Thomas? Yeah. Can you private chat me? Sure. Meanwhile with Thomas and Arya. So what do you want to say? Um, I. I. You what? I like you. Really? I like you too. Then do you want to be my girlfriend? Yes, of course. Let's tell this to Daniel and Amelia. Yes, Bay. Bay? Something wrong with it? I like it. So bae. Ha ha ha. In the group chat. We're back. Oh bestie. What did you two say? What took you so long, bro? I have something to confirm. What? what? We're, We're together, together now. now. Congrats. Nice, bro. You guys should date too. Yeah, you guys look like a couple. Um, actually, I, Amelia. Huh. I. You what? I love you, Amelia. Oh my god. I like you too. Whoa, whoa. Now our group has couples. What do you think about double date? A, a double date. date? Yes. Great. So let's have a double date at Triple X restaurant. Okay. At the restaurant. Oh, hey, babe. Hi, baby boo. Let's wait for Daniel and Amelia. Okay. Ten minutes later. Hello, guys. Sorry for we some late. It's fine, bestie. Then let's take order. Excuse me. Welcome to our restaurant. How can I help you? Wait. Hazel? It's you guys. You work here. What are you doing here? Yeah. A stupid question. We go pee at restaurant. Calm down, bestie. We have a double date here. What do you mean with double date? I and Daniel are dating, Aria and Thomas are dating and we don't know that you are working here. Babe. Do you want to go another restaurant? Um... Please stay here. I will serve you guys well. So what would you like? I want a cheeseburger. Same as my bro. I want some chicken nuggets. 
I want fish and chips. I will be right back. Please wait for some minutes. Okay. Ha ha ha. It's time to get revenge. Chicken nuggets for Amelia bitch. You dare to steal my crush from me. I will let you try chicken nuggets with poison taste. Ha ha ha. With one bite. All of her memories will be lost. And the gooey who she loves the most will become the worst guys that she hates. Now Aria's fish and chips. She hit me. And I have to let her pay for what she did to me. Ha ha ha. With that brat's food. This poison will make her fall in love with beggars. Ha ha ha. Now I will make bugger for Thomas and Daniel Boo Boo Bears. I love them so much. And this poison will make them love me and I will have two BFs. Perfect. I'm a genius. Then I will bring these food for them and wait. Sorry for let you wait. And here is your food. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. But the color of my food is so weird. Ah, we just released the new taste. Then you're the first one have chance to try it. Wow. My pleasure. In mind, stupid bitch. Um. What's wrong, babe? I feel, uh, dizzy. Oh my god. Bay. Bay. No. I am not your bay. What? It's me, Amelia. I'm your girlfriend. No I have a crush on Hazel and I will ask her to be my girlfriend. Not you. Hey Daniel. Oh my boo boo bear. I have to admit that I love you so much. And you want to ask me to be your girlfriend? Yes. And I say yes. Yay yay yay. WTF is going on. Hoo <laughs> I don't know. They bullied me, bae. Let's leave them honey. Okay. Hoo 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 what should I do now? I think we should go to ask doctor to see what happened. We will go with you, bestie. Thanks. Hello doctor. Yeah, hi girl. How may I help you? I need your help, doctor. She explains everything happened. I got it. Nothing happens on its own and everything happens for a reason. But do you remember what he ate? Yes, he ate a bugger at Triple X restaurant. That's it? Yes. I doubt about that bugger that he ate. You mean that he would be poisoned? What? Thank you so much, doctor. I think I know everything. Ugh. You guys remember who prepared foods for us? Hazel? Yeah. You mean that she put the poison in our food? Yes. Come to restaurant right now. At the restaurant. Hazel. What? Enough. I will call my manager here. Do it right now. Yeah. I will take you to court. Do it quickly. Manager. They hit me. Huh? Don't mess my restaurant up. Sorry, manager. But I want to tell you this thing, tell all story. What? You lied. I will check the camera to see who lied. What? Camera. Yeah. You may not know it, but there are a lot of cameras at my restaurant. Oh my god. After checking camera. I can't believe you can do disgusting things like this. I, I. Get out of my restaurant right now or I will take you to the court. I will go right now. Please don't do that. Bye, loser. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. And we are so sorry for everything happened at my restaurant. I will give you some discount vouchers. Oh, thanks. Hey, honey. Thank God you are her. I told you 1000 times that I am not your boyfriend. My girlfriend is Hazel and I come here to find her. Hey Daniel. 
You are the one who confessed love to Amelia, now you treat her like this. Come on, bestie. He is poisoned. Oh my head is hurt. Are you okay? Stay away from me. Hey dude. You're so bad. Look at this. What? Your texts in our friends group to see everything. Yeah. To see how much you love Amelia, and how much you hate Hazel. Oh my god. My head. Ouch. Vomit. Are you okay? I am fine, babe. You just said what? What's wrong, babe? You're my girlfriend. Oh my god. Thank god, you remembered everything, hug. You scared me. I am so sorry. Ha ha ha. Everything is fine now. Yeah, babe. The end. Story 4 One day, at the school. Here, lady. Pick me up at 5 p.m. On time, nothing more, nothing less. Yes, lady. Hey, that girl looks pretty and rich. I kinda like her. Then do something, bro. That's right, Nolan. Show her what you have. Okay, watch me. Hey, good looking. Wanna going somewhere together? Get out of my way. I'm trying to find my class. Haha, <laughs> just calm down. Don't be so rushed. What? I like you, girl. Can I know your name? Look at me. I am the leader of a team which are full of powerful students in this school. If you join us, no one will dare to mess with you. Is that so? Of course. And I'll show you a magic trick. Damn. For you girl. Oh, smooth talking. I can see that but you are too cheesy. You're not my type. Goodbye. She is exactly the girl I want. You got rejected by her. How does it feel to fail the first time? Nope. I don't think so. There's no way I'm going to give up that easily. Just wait for it. Oh, it's time to go to class. Hurry up. At the classroom. Hello, girl. My name is Veronica. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Can I know your name? I'm Jennifer. I'm impressed with the way you talk to Nolan. People like you are trustworthy. Can we be friends? Why not? Great. And by the way, feel free to do anything crazy in this school. You won't be punished. What do you mean? My father is the principal of this school. Oh wow, really? Really you are free to do whatever you want without being expelled. I swear. At the school cafeteria. Are you sure Veronica invited her here? Just wait and see. Hey guys. Oh my god, we meet again. Come here and have a seat with us. You again? This must be a joke. Veronica, let's find another seat. Ha. Huh. Calm down, girl. They are my friends, and they are not bad guy. Give them a chance, okay? That's right, girl. Besides, there is no seat left in this cafeteria. Alright, okay, fine. Wonderful. After a while of talking. Well, it seems like we're getting more close, right? Welcome you to my team, Jennifer. After listening to you for a while, I think it's not bad to join you guys. Thank you you all for welcoming me. I feel at ease having some powerful students as my friends. No one in this school would dare to bully me. That's right, we will be your good friends. And we'll do something crazy together. Sounds interesting. By the way Nolan, I want to say sorry for my wrong behavior earlier. It's okay, no problem. Well, the school bell is about to ring. I have this for you before leaving. Enjoy the snacks. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay girl, see you later. See you soon pretty pretty. Bye Jenny. See, that's my girl. Duh bro. She's my bestie. We are friends haha. Ha. And from then on they became the school bully quartet. Maybe because the feeling of power makes them happy bullying happens often. Hey boy, I need your help. Do you mind? How can I help you? I forgot to bring some money today. Give me $10, will you? No, I can't. I only have $10 for the rest of the week. Hayes. Oh boy, you leave me no choice. Guys come here. 
Yes. Okay, then we will deal with this frog. What? Froggy? Hey, let him go. Don't hurt him. Ugh. I'll report this to the school supervisor. He'll deal with you. PFFT, ha ha ha. What's so funny about that? Just do it. Have you forgotten that my father is the school principal? Now what? Give her $10 or I'll cook this frog for lunch. Okay, okay, don't hurt Froggy. Here. Bacon sends Jennifer $10. Aw, oh, thank you, lol. Here. Hey, take it easy on him. Come on, let's go. Okay. Are you okay, friend? Ugh, they are so mean. I wish someone would punish them. Another time. Hey, hey. Look out. Move, girl. Huh? Ouch. What the hell? A baseball? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I couldn't catch the ball. You couldn't even catch this ball. How stupid you are. Sorry, can you give it back to me? Are you kidding me? Oh no. What did you do? You'll be punished for that. I don't think so. Nolan, Veronica, over here. A little help please. What's going on here? Oh no. I don't want to get into trouble with these two. I got hit by a stupid baseball because of his fault. Oh my god. Impossible. Didn't you know that she was our friend? How dare you? And no, I didn't mean that. I. We don't ask you. He almost ruined my face. But I. Oh my god. Who broke the window? It was him, teacher. What? I. Yeah, it's him, I swear. I swear I'm not. Yes, I did. You were such a troublemaker. Come with me to my office. Right now. Yes, teacher. Ha ha ha, he deserves that. We are always here to help you, Jenny. Same. Aw, oh, thank you guys. After making friends with powerful friends, Jennifer became fond of bullying and messing around. She showed no interest about studying. At the class. Okay, attention. The exam will begin in just a few minutes. Get yourselves ready. Oh no, I totally forgot about this. And in this exam, the school places random students from all classes in the same exam room. How can I get some help? Start doing the exam. 15 minutes later. Whisper, hey boy, help me. Silent. Whisper, hey, are you deaf? I'm talking to you. Whisper, huh? Do not disturb me. Whisper, what the don't you dare to said that to me. Whisper, help me or I'll tell my friends. Keep your voice down. What? How dare you? Jennifer. Timmy. Both of you be quiet. Ah. After the exam. Finally. Surely the exam will have a very high score. I must tell mom about it. Hey you. Stop right there. Huh? I asked you for help. Why didn't you help me? Why would I have? Cheating is wrong. Besides, that's not even my duty. Don't you know who I am? I don't, but now I think I do. Yeah, you must. I know what a mean girl you are. What the heck? Are you lost your mind? Hey Jennifer, here you are. How was the test? Good, right? The exam is over. Yeah, let's have a break. Wait, they are. Guys, I failed the exam. I couldn't even write a single word on it and that was all his fault. I asked him for help but he ignored me. What? Impossible. How dare you ignore her? You still don't know who she is. Wait guys. I... He even dared to insult me. Right in the exam. Oh man, are you tired of living? No. But I think you guys are ridiculous. Apparently she's the one who failed the test. Why is it my fault? Don't argue with us, things won't end well. You guys are bullying me. Okay, let us make that clear for you. You nerd. Let's do it the easy way. You say sorry to our friend and give each of us $100. Then we'll let you go. A cheap price for peace, right? No. Stay out of my way, you stupid bullies. What? This guy is so out of his mind. Teach him a lesson. Ouch. Stop. Ugh. 
Hey, stop. What a moron. Okay, boys, that's enough. Don't worry, Jennifer. I'll ask my dad for help. You won't fail the exam. Thanks, girl. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. I'm sick of this. From next time on, don't ignore her, Ross, again. Otherwise, you will suffer the result like this. Understood? I, I get it. Damn it, my life. After that day, Timmy was repeatedly pranked and messed with by the quartet of bullies. At the library. What the? Who did that? PFFT. Ha ha ha. Ha ha, look at him. Oh, not them again? Oh, what a poor boy. It's fun to bully you every day. You should move to another school. Otherwise, these pranks will come at you endlessly. I need to run. Hey, come back. The fun isn't over yet. Ha ha ha, he ran away duh. What a weirdo. A few days later, at the classroom. Nobody is here yet, how weird. Huh? Is something under my desk drawer? Ouch. And, damn it. Damn it, it's hurt. Get the hell off me. It hurts ugh. This is even more than enough. I will teach all four of them a lesson. Sometime later. Ha ha ha. Seeing him struggle to remove the mousetrap from his hand is hilarious. I totally agree with that. Now what? Which prank should we use to make fun of him next? I don't know yet. Maybe we should give him a break for a while. Okay, that makes sense. We'll prank him when he lets his guard down. Deal. So see you guy later. I have to go now. Tonight at my house there is an important guest. Oh okay. See you see you again. See, see you, you again. again. Okay. Uh what's wrong with them? I called my dad even the driver but no one answered. Don't tell me that. Ah uh, here they are. Yeah. Come and pick me up. Oh my god. What's wrong with you? You say you are the new driver? I don't care just come and pick me up. Or else I'll tell my dad to fire you. A few hours later. At the hospital. Yes, she's here. Are you her father? She suffered a head injury. Her driver picked her up. Yes, she was brought here in a state of fainting. Please come here quickly. Ah. Wait, hold on. How are you feeling? Where is this? This is the hospital. Ah, right. Ouch, my head. Looks like your head was hit hard. Did you fall or has someone attacked you? Fall? Attack? Don't you remember anything? <coughs> Little girl, I need you to answer me. I, I don't know. Do you remember your name? My name? No. Oh no, it's not good. Wait for me. Hello. Yes, it's me. What happened? Did I fall or anything else? Who I am? Sometime later. So you mean my daughter has lost her memory? Yes, as you can see. All? All of them, even her name. Do you remember me? No, I'm sorry. I'm your dad, remember? Don't push her to hard dementia patients need time to recover. I don't have time for this. I'm not a psychiatrist, I don't have time to be patient. But you are her dad. So? Just do your work, I'll pay. If you are my dad, this is horrible. What? You look more like an admiral than a father. Giving orders to others with money and power. Shameless. Oh shit. What did she just say? Ha ha ha. You never talk to me like that. You really have lost your mind. Yeah, so what? Are you going to hit me or throw money in my face and make me shut up? S stop girl, he's your- I'm your dad and you were Jennifer, remember? I don't like silence. Although the way you talk and behave is extremely rude, you are still by my side right now. I believe you dad. Smart girl. Meet me at home tonight, 8 p.m. I don't take your orders. Please? Yes, Dad. Great. What happened? Due to the sudden attack, Jennifer completely lost her memory. Her behavior also changed. Sometime later, at the school. Hey, Jennifer is not going back to school yet. 
I feel so boring. Yeah, I miss her too. I think we should find a random nerd and bully him. That's right, bro. I'm in the mood for that too. Oh, that was easier than I imagined. I think we just found one. What? What? Do you want from me? I just want to go back back to my class. Give us $20. No, I can't do that. Okay, let's do what needs to be done. Ouch. No, no. Please let me go. Ha ha ha, look at that guy. He is so useless. Oh god, Jenny. Here you are. Miss you so much, girl. What? I'll come here. My Are you crazy? You make me nauseous. Wow, what the hell? What the hell is wrong with you, Jenny? Are you okay? Why are you rejecting us? What? I'm the one who should ask that question. You guys are bullying him and that is unacceptable. Ha ha ha. What? This is not funny at all. Oh my god, there she is. She's trying to make this joke more interesting. So that's it. Jenny is still Jenny. Ah, get away from me, you jerk. What? Jerk? I just saved you. Save me? Ha, you try to make fun of me. Don't act like we don't know what you're looking for. Piss off. Hey, how dare you? Where are you going? Stop chasing him. Huh? What's wrong with you, cutie? Are you- Stop it. Don't act like we're close. I don't even know who you are. Wait, just wait a damn minute. What's wrong with you, girl? Are you lost your mind? Yeah, we're glad you're back safe. But what the hell? You are behaving strangely. How the more you talk, the harder it is to understand. We are your friends, don't you see? What? He's right, we are your friends. Why do I have to be close to you guys? We bullied a lot of people together. And you really enjoyed it. No way. Impossible. You guys are the bad guys. The hell? I can't believe I was so close to you guys before. Moreover, why did you save him? He even scolded you after being saved by you. It doesn't matter. I was trying to do the right thing. Maybe she is no longer our friend. Yeah, you're right. She lost her mind. I'm sorry, but from now on we are not friends anymore. Who cares? Out of the way. Ugh, those rude people. I need to ask the people around me about those rude people. But Jennifer's efforts go unanswered people automatically alienating her every time she starts a conversation with someone. Why do people subconsciously push me away? Did I do something wrong? Ugh, get off me. Teacher, have you seen that? I told you she's too dirty and doesn't clean her closet leaving cockroaches everywhere. What? Jennifer, what was that? I know you've been off for a few weeks but dirty like this is unacceptable. You'll be suspended from school for three days. Any question? How the fuck? Just for that? Oh my god. Language. You will be suspended for three days and have to do public cleaning for one week. Your punishment starts tomorrow. But wait, you, did you put that in my locker? Who knows? And remember this. That was only the beginning, see ya. You. Three days later. Ah oh, damn it, I came here too early. Oh she's back. I want to tell my dad about this but he'll definitely consider it childish. Ah oh, leave me alone. Oh look she's commanding us. Big mistake girl. Hey stay back, what are you trying to do? Boys get her. Okay. Hey let me go. After that, they locked Jennifer in the abandoned room full of dust, locked the door and left. Until someone comes and opens the door. OMG thank you so much, I was bullied. Look at her. How pathetic. What are you doing? You had to ask? Being betrayed by your own, best friends. This is your karma. Those pranks on you will never end until you transfer to another school. Hoo hoo. What have I done? Please stop teasing me. Perhaps she really lost her memories, but that doesn't mean she's innocent. Let me tell you one thing. You used to be their friend and the four of you always pranked weaker students. We were all your victims. So don't even think about getting help from anyone. That's enough, let's leave her. Was that who I was in the past? But now I want to become a better person. I wish I had a chance. At Jennifer's home. I'm home. Welcome back. But wait, why are you here? I thought you were on a business trip. Aren't you losing your memory? That's the reason why I can't leave my daughter alone. Doesn't sound like your usual self. Your body smells weird. I was bullied. 
So you think I jumped in the trash myself? Maybe, because you were losing your memory. I lost my memory but not stupid. Right, if you keep talking like this you're not stupid. Yeah. But hard to believe, weren't you a bully too? What, you know that? I know everything about my daughter. Then why don't you stop me? I thought you liked it. Never, I, uh, it's all your fault. Me? Are you sure? Yes, from what I've heard, you've made me lonely. I tried everything but I didn't get your attention. But after playing with those bullies, I got attention a lot of attention. That's why I rebelled. Do you have a second personality? Dad. Okay, okay, I'm so sorry. It's just that you talk like that makes me think you're a different person. So tell me who did this. I say their name, what will you do? Come to my school and expel them? Hmm? Am I not allowed to take care of my daughter? You've been ignoring me for over 11 years so don't wonder. Now I don't want to talk about this anymore. Is it normal for girls to behave like this? Learn about some of Jennifer's most recent events. I'll see. The next morning. Hey do you guys think we should keep bullying her? Because she's quite rich, remember when we first met her? Yeah you're right but she- But she changes and betrays us. And no matter how rich, she is she still has to pay for this. I can see that. Oh, in time. Shit, not again. Oh, Jenny. Are you ready to be pranked? No, go away. I don't want to get in trouble with you guys anymore. It seems like she has changed into another person after losing her memories. A soft girl but pretends to be strong but sorry, you don't have a choice. Let's take her bag and throw it away. I'll do that. No, what the fuck? Well, where are you going? You. <laughs> She's crying. How hilarious. And nobody will show up to protect you. Damn it, I don't want it anymore. What the? Are you okay? I'm fine. Hey, are you tired of living? What the hell? How dare you? Don't you dare. Shut up. I'm tired of seeing you guys bully others. Don't talk like you have the power to decide it here. Benedict, Nolan, you two morons. Get the fuck up. Work together and teach him a lesson. How dare you surprisingly hit us. You just had some luck. But there's no second time. You won't stand a chance if we fight together. You better keep your mouth shut and come at me. Five minutes later. Oh my god, I can't believe it. What the fuck? You know martial arts. Not your business. You should feel lucky that I don't hit girls. Impossible, I'll tell my dad to expel you from school. I don't think you can do that. Your father is not the official principal of this school anyway. What? Remember what you just said, I'll call him here. He'll expel you from school. Dad, you need to expel this guy from school. He bullied us and he even insulted you. What? Your gut is big, isn't it? Get out of this school you are expelled. You should remember that you can only suspend students, not expel them. That power belongs to my mother she is the real principal of this school. How ridiculous. Stop Logan, you can't mess up with my school anymore. What, Oriana? How did you come back? You should have been suspended why are you? Dad, what are you saying? Thanks to you, I got suspended. I left, but now I'm back. Thank you for that man's hard work. That man? What do you mean? It doesn't matter now. Every bad thing you do I have enough proof. Now you can dominate anymore. No way you. You can go. Oh no daddy. Damn it Veronica's father is no longer the principal, that's me. And all of you from now on, don't even think about messing around in the school anymore. I will monitor you more closely than anyone else. Oh no, please spare us. My parents will kick me out of the house. Please don't expel me from school. What about Jennifer? She was one of us. She has to be punished too. I'll investigate that. And now, tell your parents to come here right away. I'll work with them. No, please don't. Mom, can I say something? Go ahead. Can you please give them one chance? 
What? Can you please reduce their punishment? I know they've done a lot of things wrong, but I'm willing to give them one more chance to change. Timmy, thank you. Don't say it right now, Ugg, okay? All right then, I'll give all of you one more chance, but you're still suspended from school for one week. After that you all have to do community service at school for a month. Any question? No no thank you so much. We appreciate the chance you give us. Thank you. Now go. Welcome back mom. Thank you so much. You're welcome Jennif. Moreover, I have to say thank you to your father. Wait why? Your dad helped me get back to my place. Uh, I don't know that. Thank you, Jennifer. You don't have to. All right, there is something else that I need to handle, so see you later. Okay, Mom, see you later. Timmy, can I talk with you for a while? What's wrong? Thank you for helping me, and I want to say sorry for all bad things I did to you. I'm sorry too. The reason you lost your memory is because of me. Why? I hit you to avenge my anger. This shocked me, so I didn't fall. I don't ask for your forgiveness because I was too angry and made a mistake at that time. Now that you've lost your memory, you've also helped my mother regain her position as principal. This situation is more awkward than I imagined. My previous actions were too cruel to you so take that as the price I have to pay. I don't feel that way, I was completely wrong. I will talk about this with your father. No need. Anyway I want to start from scratch and I need some help. I'm ready. Good. Jennifer then gathered all the people she had bullied and apologized to them. People I haven't yet remembered what did to you all in the past. But whatever I did, I want to say sorry to you all. I'll try to become better, please forgive me. And I hope we can become friends. Alright I don't want to be petty anyway. It seems like she's already repented. Yeah let's forgive her. Okay, I'll become your friend. Thank you everyone. I hope you won't get your memories back and become a bully again. Again nah I don't want that anyway. And what about you Timmy? Would you agree to be my friend too? After seeing all you just did, then my answer is yes. I hope you will always be a good person. Really? Thank you boy. Meanwhile the trio bullies. Jesus, I don't want to do this anymore. How embarrassing. Just shut up and do it. Complaining won't change anything at all. Hey look at them. How ridiculous. That's right. Do you want us to teach you a lesson? What? Are you going to hit us? Try to do it. The principal will kick you all out of this school. And this time, your father is not here to protect you anymore. There's nothing you can do. Ugh, I'm so angry. Clean up this mess. You. Just clean it up. I don't want us to get in trouble anymore. The both of you what you just did. Why are you protecting them? You can't treat someone by repeating their mistake to them. Just say sorry to them and leave. I won't report what just happened. Okay, we're sorry for that. Thank you for your kindness. We'll change to be better. Remember that. The end. Story 5 Hello, honey. Hi. What are you doing? I'm doing my homework. How long until I'm done? 20 more minutes. Okay. I will come back later. Oh my god. Doesn't he remember my birthday? He already loves someone else, right? I reminded him a lot about my birthday, but he didn't remember. Why is that? He makes me feel sorry for myself. I didn't go out with my family so I could hang out with James, but he doesn't remember that. So sad. One hour later. Oh my god. Sorry honey. I just finished playing Roblox. What the fuck? You play Roblox without waiting for me? I didn't mean to, but I came back to play with you anyway. Are not. I do not need. I will go to sleep. Oh my god. Why is she so angry? What did I do to hurt her that much? Or not. Maybe she's having family problems. Why didn't she tell me that? Anyway, tomorrow I have to go and apologize to her. The next day, at school. Anna, I want to talk to you. 
We have nothing more to say to each other. You should stay away from me. Oh my god. What are you talking about? Please forgive me for last night. But is it this serious? What do you mean? You're having a bad time, right? About friends, family, or something else. It's because of you. You're making me sad. I don't want to talk to you. Oh my god. Don't go. Listen to me. Talking about what? You have something sad to hide from me, right? If you say so, we have nothing more to say to each other. Oh my god. Is something wrong with her? It's not like this every time. I have to find out everything. I can't let her be so sad. That night, at Hannah's house. Mom, I feel sad about James. What happened, child? He doesn't remember my birthday. I was waiting for him to pick me up to go out last night, but James played games with his friends and went to bed very early. Oh my god. Maybe the boy was having too much to think about so he temporarily forgot about it. If there's something he'll tell you. It's okay, girl. James will make it up to you soon. I don't need it. I will break up with him. That is a child's action. But he doesn't even remember his child's birthday, so how can he continue to love someone like that? Did you ask James if anything happened? I don't care about that. Don't you care about James and want him to remember you? But... That is enough. You should talk to James tomorrow and you'll know everything. Then it's not too late to make a decision. Yes. In the group chat. Hello, guys. Hi. Hello. Can you introduce yourselves? I'm Anna, 17 years old, and this is me. Nice. Pretty. I'm Nami, 17 years old. This is me. Hot. So hot. I'm John, 17 years old, and this is me. Handsome. Nice. Okay. Shall we play Roblox together? Okay. Two hours later. Playing Roblox with friends is fun. Me too. Do you have a boyfriend yet? Not yet. I have it. Oh my god. Why don't you play with him? That's right. He will probably be sad when he sees you playing with strangers, but not with him. It's okay. Anyway, we're about to break up. Oh my god. Why do you say that? Yesterday was my birthday, and he didn't remember it. Oh my god. That seems to have made you very sad. That's right. I'm very disappointed in him. Maybe I should end this relationship. Are you in a hurry? That's right. The decision was too early. Anna. Please talk to him. I don't have enough patience with him anymore. I'm so frustrated. Come on, Anna. Think carefully before deciding something. That's right. You're really just angry at him, but you don't stop loving him, right? Hmm. It's late. I want to sleep. Okay. Good night. Think carefully. The next day, at James's house. Dad. I want to ask you something, Dad. Okay. You say it. Is there any way to apologize and get your girlfriend's forgiveness? Ha uh ha. -huh. Did something happen between you and Anna again? Actually, I don't know why she was angry. Please remember again. I played Roblox without waiting for her, but that can't make Anna become like that. Why do I confirm that? That also happens often, but she doesn't have any opinion about it because when I'm playing with my friends, Anna is doing her homework. You probably have to solve this yourself. I can't help you anymore. Dad, you really can't think of a way. You can go ask her directly. Anna doesn't want to talk to her child. This may not be simple. Maybe you should ask her best friend. She doesn't have close friends. At school, Anna only talks to her children. So it's not easy. Try to find a way. 
It's time for Dad to go to work. Dad. Dad, don't you want to help me? Dad can't. Oh my god. Maybe I'll find a way myself. At school. James, is something going on between you and Anna? How do you know? I see you and her don't go together like before. Actually she is angry with me. About what? Why don't you go and apologize to her? I really want to do it but I don't know why Anna is like that. Oh my god. How could this happen? That's right. Everything is so confusing. Have you tried asking her? She doesn't want to talk to me. It's hard to help you with this. Maybe I'll go to her house. Good luck. That afternoon, at Anna's house. Anna! Are you home? Oh, James. Anna went out on business. Is there anything wrong? Thank you. I will go find Anna. Grandchildren, hello, uncle. Wait. What's going on, bro? You and Anna are mad at each other, right? Yes. Why do you know that? Anna told me. Do you know what Anna is angry at me about? Haven't she told you yet? Anna always avoids me so I came here today. Do you remember what day September 28th is? Oh my god. It's Anna's birthday. That's right. She is very disappointed that I forgot her birthday. You're so bad for not remembering that. Can you help me apologize to Anna? Why are you so careless? Recently, something happened to my family so my mood is not stable. I understand that. When she comes back, I will talk to her again for you. Is that okay? That depends on you. Yes. I will try. Thank you. Okay. I have to go out to do some business. See you later. Yes. Grandchildren, hello, uncle. That night, at Hannah's house. Have you talked to James yet? Not yet. Didn't the boy come looking for me? He tried to talk to me, but I refused. James came to look for his mother in the afternoon. Does he still dare to come here? The boy talked to his mother. Actually, things are not as he thought. Mom, don't tell him for him. I won't listen. James said that his family has been having a lot of problems recently, so his mood is not really stable. That is an unacceptable reason. If he encounters something, he must tell you. There are things James doesn't want you to think too much about, Anna. What do you mean? James doesn't want his children to be affected by bad things. Are you telling the truth? You can meet the boy directly to confirm. He will have to come find you to explain. The baby will arrive soon. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. In the group chat. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. Has James come to you to talk, Anna? He always tries to do it, but I refuse. Why so? Please give him a chance to explain. But today, James came to talk to my mother. What did he say? He didn't remember his birthday until my mom mentioned it. Do you know the reason? He said a lot of things had happened to his family recently, so he didn't pay attention to it. Do you believe that statement? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have to wait until he explains it to me. So will you give him a chance? That's right. Hope he's telling the truth. Okay. Thank you. The next day. At school. Anna. Please give me a chance to explain. About what? I'm sorry for not remembering your birthday. I bought you a gift. Please explain why. Recently, my father's work has had some problems. My mother is angry with my father because the family's finances are in decline, so I am also very sad. Oh my god. Do you tell the truth? Why are you in the mood to joke with me at this time? I'm sorry for misunderstanding you. It's okay. I have wronged you. He promised to pay more attention next time. Okay. Let's go out. Okay. 
Where do you want to go? Water park. Good idea. Two people went out happily. All problems were solved. The end.